this is just a little starter kit available for only $19.99 and what you can create is you can take your own photographs whether they are uh, pictures of nature or your family snapshots you can convert them into fine art with this little kit as a starter um, as you can see in this image I've taken a monochrome image and I've taken the embellishing chemicals and created what has the appearance of uh, painted work, hand painted uh, art. This is the after look. I've taken some actual latex paint, given a little more vibrant color on top of that, and then we took the embellishing chemicals and gave it a more fine art look. It's got texture from brush strokes and it's got a final coating on it to protect it from ultraviolet light and stain resistance as well. There's the back side. You can see it's stretched canvas, hanging wire. It's ready to go on the wall. In your kit, you've got a little box that says Fine Art Embellaging Starter Kit. It comes with some chemicals. In the box we've got uh, eco print shield and embellishing gel. And then in your bag you've got a little paintbrush for the embellishing gel and a sponge brush for the print shield. You've also got three sheets each of matte paper, dual sided, and canvas, which is one sided. In the canvas, you can tell which side to print on, it's got the coating. And without the coating, you don't want to print on. <laughs> if you print it in your machine backwards, it won't work out too well. And then you've got a little bit of ink information on the data sheets for these two chemicals. All right, then once you have printed your image, let it dry, depending on the, t the type of paper or canvas, depending on the coating, you need to let it dry for a certain period of time. But I would typically let this dry for a week. If it was glossy paper, I would let it dry for two weeks. The reason for that is um, matte paper is porous, does not have the clear plastic coating on it, it as like a glossy coat so the porous aspects of the paper actually absorb the ink and hold it in place and that dries quicker whereas a glossy coated one has a plastic layer on it and therefore the ink just sits on top of that layer and it just creates a bubble and that bubble will gloss over on the surface but on the inside of that bubble it takes much longer to dry so now we're going to start the embellishing process, or the first coat, I should say. And we don't want the sheet of paper to bubble up too much. So we're going to tape it down so it stays where we want it without wrinkling itself too terribly bad. To that. Okay, now we're going to apply the Eco Print Shield just as a first coating. Now, keep in mind that I have not had not given this time to dry, so we may get some smearing on this particular image. We're about to find out. I don't want to put too much on. It's just going to be a little thin coat.
All right, now that I've got it mostly covered, I'm actually going to begin the embellishing process even before I actually start using the embellishing gel yet because this sponge brush has actually given me some texture. So I'm going to begin the process of embellishing by just kind of giving it a little bit of texture with my sponge brush. going to be the end result is just to get things started because I'm already seeing some nice lines. Now that we've allowed it to dry some, um, since we're rushing here for this lesson, we didn't let it dry overnight or anything like that. So it's still a little bubbly, but it is ready for us to do another layer. Now we're going to put on some embellishing gel. And this is an option that you don't absolutely need to do. What it does is it actually creates a great deal of texture on the image. So we'll start by just giving these little, the yellow color, some depth. It doesn't need to be exactly in the right location because we want light to reflect and refract around it in such a way that it actually appears to be hand painted and therefore gives it more life and visual appeal. Now that's kind of started there. Gives us a good starting point. I'm going to add a little bit to the leaf in the background here. Just a tiny bit. Okay, let's work on the petal a little. Now one thing about this that I need to mention too is when I did these I don't want to add too much. If I want it really thick I'll have to do more than one application. Because if you put it on too thick the exterior will cure and harden but the interior may not dry for 10 or 20 years. So you don't want it too thick. You want it to be on in layers and then add more after the first layer or successful layers dry. Okay, I think it looks pretty good there in there. I'm going to add just a little bit of texture around so that we have some visible brush strokes later so that it continues to look like a hand painted piece even though you photographed it and printed it out on your own printer at home in the future anyone glancing at it will think that you hand painted this
Okay, that's it for this layer. Now we'll let this dry and come back to it with a final coat later. Um, we're going to do a final coat on this one, but one could in the future add extra depth and, and layer. Okay, now that our embellishing gel has dried, for the most part, it's still a little damp here, but for the purposes of our video, we're going to continue on. Um, as you can see, that even though when we were applying it, it looked white, it dries very clear, and you can see right through it to your main image without any problems whatsoever. Okay, now we're going to put on a top coat. Again, this is a Premier Art print shield and we're applying the glossy version it comes in matte satin or gloss we just happen to be using the gloss today Essentially, once we get this completed, the project for our coatings purposes is done. Since we're doing paper, this can then be framed, if you wished. If one was mounting this, you would mount it before putting on all these coats. In fact, the mounting would actually prevent this bubbling that we're seeing because it would already be glued to the mount. Okay, and then that's done. So once it dries, it'll be ready for framing.